subscribers and welcome back to my channel according to Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome to my returning subscribers. Welcome back my loves. So today we're going to get right into it. These are going to be messages from your person, okay? Messages, things that they're not telling you, okay? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? That's what we're going to get into, okay? So um, please keep in mind it is a general collective reading. Please only take what messages resonate with your story okay if the messages resonate for you please leave a comment down in the comment section below thumbs up the video and please be sure to subscribe to the channel okay thank you guys so much for watching so without further delay we are going to get into the messages from your person but before i do that <laughs> before i do that i just would like to mention for those of you guys who would love to book an in-depth personal reading with me feel free to go to my website AquarianInfestTarot.net. It will also be listed down in the description box below. And also, we're going to start off by getting the overall energy of this connection to kind of get a little backstory of what happened between you and this person, right? To find out <laughs> a little bit more of what happened and why you guys are not on speaking terms. Um, but this is just for those of you guys who are kind of curious to know what your person is thinking and feeling. They haven't really said much to you about it. Or if there's someone that you've recently broken up with that you guys are not on speaking terms with and you kind of just wonder what the hell happened. Like, this is that, okay? All right, so what's the overall energy between my viewers, subscribers, and the person on their mind? We have the emperor. So for some of you guys, this could be an Aries father figure, possibly. Someone that you may have a child with for some of you guys, okay? Just so you guys know, it could be any sign, but could definitely be an Aries or have Aries placements. Fire placements. Some more spirit. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. Could be an ex-husband or ex-wife for some of you guys, depending on the situation. Six of Wands. Someone that is an attention whore. Someone that loves attention, especially from the opposite sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> If this is your person or your ex-person, a baby daddy, a baby mama, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is very controlling, somebody who has a very quick temper, somebody who doesn't like to be told no, this is that person, okay? This is that person. And you guys aren't together for a reason. <laughs> Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. This person still has feelings for you. They do low-key. Even though they may not tell you that, this person low-key still has feelings for you. They're going to they, they gonna try to play hard, especially if it's a Taurus. They're going to try to play hard, okay? But with that being said, um, this could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or um, like I said, Taurus. But this person does still have feelings for you, just so you guys know. So, Spirit, what are they not telling my viewers and subscribers? That they, <laughs> some of them are actually trying to manifest a comeback into your life. So, if you've been dealing with an Aries recently, this person really has the desire to get back with you, to reconnect with you. But I don't feel like y'all are feeling it collected. Let me know down in the comment section below. Spirit, how do my viewers and subscribers feel about this person? <laughs> this Taurus or fire sign that's coming towards them and they just... Mm, Some of you guys feel like there's other people involved. You feel like there's a third party. You feel like they could possibly be, they could be playing the field, keeping their options open. They could have a little roster, a roster of people. Okay, <laughs> let me clarify what I said. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, some of them, some of you, some of you guys feel like this person may have reconnected with the baby mama, possibly. Queen of Pentacles energy there. That's a possibility, or just another, another female who is uh, pretty stable, financially stable. She's well off. Five of Wands, and this could have caused the drama. This could have been what actually caused the breakup in the first place. They're dealing with other people. And if this is a Divine Masculine, you may, who's watching the video, if you're a Divine Masculine and you're watching the video, you may also feel like this applies to you as well. Like she, the woman that you're not with, she may, you may feel like she has a roster of guys or other people that she's keeping her options open for. This person, just so you guys know, does watch your social media. They do. That's why, that's why they send you that Facebook request. That's why they sent it to you. That's why they sent you that Instagram request. So they can follow your stories and watch what you do. Because they don't really want to fully let you go. But they really didn't want you when they had you. Craziness. So let's kind of, I mean, you guys are busy at work minding your business. And they know that. They know that you're a hard worker. They know that you're financially stable. They know that you hold your own and you don't necessarily need them. They know this. So... 
what do they want to say? What are they thinking, Spirit, towards my viewers and subscribers? What is this person thinking and feeling towards my viewers and subscribers that they're not actually saying? Let's find out. All right. Ooh, that one flew out. We're going to leave it there. We have dinner date. They may want to take you out. They may want to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you. Be careful with that, by the way. I don't like how that, mm, okay? Dinner date. They may want to take you out so they can have a little one-on-one. -on -one. Whatever. I feel like I am stuck and cannot get out of this situation with the karmic. Ooh, ooh. Made you bake, gotta lay in it. Ooh. Um, we also have confused about this connection. So this person, like I said, they still have feelings for you, but they could also have feelings for someone else. They also kind of like want to do their own thing. So, mm, we have awakening higher purpose. This person may actually be trying to work on themselves, but this person also still deals with addictions and they have codependency issues. Okay. For some of you guys, the person is not financially able to come to you right now. I'm not financially able to come to you right now for some of you guys it could have been a financial reason why you guys are not together that could be part of the problem um and also with addictions and codependency i heard abuse i heard physical verbal emotional abuse that's what i heard so for some of you guys you're not with this person because this person was very much abusive in that relationship and i'm so glad that you got away from that situation if that is your story you deserve it absolutely better okay better than that For some of you guys, this person may be addicted to money. That's all they think about. And that could have been a problem too. Like a workaholic never had really had time for you. Never really made time for the family. The children always got excuses. And this is what caused a divorce or separation between the two of you guys. It says, I'm embarrassed because I know I have made wrong choices. So this person, let me tell you something, baby. Especially if you're dealing with an Aries. There's a huge ego there. Taurus. Huge ego there. Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, those three signs are what's coming up in this reading. So those are the three signs I'm going to say. Okay? It can apply to any sign. However, <laughs> if this is your story, and if you are dealing with an individual or individuals who have those placements, it is what it is. This person realizes that they messed up real bad. We also have legal issues, court lawyers. So for some of you guys, if there was, um, <laughs> for lack of better words, a baby mama or baby daddy involved with this person that caused a, a breakup between the two of you guys, this person may be going through a, a custody, child support, back and forth type of situation, a legal situation. Also, this person could be going through a legal situation um, in regards to rent, not being paid, um, getting an eviction notice. This person can, can really be going through some, some stuff right now. So this could be, you know, them not being financially able to come to you. This could be part of the issue too. They don't even have a place to stay. So they can't, they can't even sustain you financially on that level, but they know you're an eight of, you're eight of pentacles. You're an eight of pentacles. You're a queen, queen of pentacles as well. They know that much. Um, so I feel like that queen of pentacles is you guys, um, as well as could potentially be another person that they were dealing with on the side that they felt had you know that saying they sometimes people think the the grass is greener on the other side and i feel like that's exactly what happened here and people don't learn until they go to the other side and find out what they really had was a blessing so here's this i've been having visions about you and us so this person def definitely thinks about you um in in the 5d okay it says, I want to talk to you, message you. Yeah, this person definitely wants to have a conversation now because they realize that the grass is not greener on the other side. They want to have a conversation with you. They realize that you've been you've blocked them and you know your worth and you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve. This person knows that. Even though they may not be saying this to you, they really do want to talk to you. We have children, family. They may they, And they may actually reach out to you if you haven't blocked this person. Just so you know, they may reach out to you and say, oh, I want to talk to the kids or I want to come, you know, spend time with the family or I miss being around the family or whatever. Okay. We also have deception, wearing a false mask. They know that they were deceptive to you in the past, which is why you left them alone. Words and actions were not in alignment. Um... Look, I feel like you're disconnecting from me. And this is the funny part that kills me every single time with karmic masculines. I feel like this is a kar karmic masculine energy for some of you guys. It could be a karmic feminine energy for some of you guys. Take the messages as they resonate. 
But whoever this person is, it's like they didn't value you when they had you. And now that you're gone, now they're having all these thoughts and these emotions. And, oh, I just want to talk to you. And, oh, I just want to pour out my heart to you now that you're not here, baby. It's too late. It's too late. Karmic is the cause of my stress. Well, well, well. The grass wasn't greener on the other side. Now, was it? All right. We have proposing wedding. Some of y'all may get a proposal just to keep y'all from going with somebody else. I'm just saying. Some of y'all might get a proposal. If you're currently dealing with this individual, this person has codependency issues. This person is confused about y'all's connection. If this is the current situation, they feel like they're stuck and they can't get out of the situation with their baby mama, baby daddy situation. This person has some financial issues they're trying to work out. And this person um, loves animals or has a pet, could have a dog, whatever the case may be. And we have to inflame. You guys met each other at this time in life for certain lessons to be learned, for growth, for you both, both of you for growth. All right. So for those of y'all that this is a past person, these are the energies surrounding that person, what they're thinking or feeling towards you. This person may reach out to you. This person could have a pet. This person um, could be married now, but they still have feelings for you. Because they know that they messed up when you guys were together, right? They know that you know your worth and they know that they really don't stand a chance with you. So this could be why they're stalking your social medias, you know, trying to see what you got going on. See if you're, you've moved on in life, if you're happy with someone else. Because they really don't want to see you happy with anyone else, okay? Let's just call it what it is. So that's for you guys' messages, collective messages for what your person is thinking about you and not telling you, all right? Please leave a comment down in the comment section below to let me know if it resonates. Please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on your notifications so you can be notified anytime I post new content or go live. And until next time, peace out, y'all.